Good morning. Okay, we've got one of my favorite airplanes, the TBM 930. I've got about five airplanes I really like. They do different, uh, uh, perform different types of flights. Uh, <laughs> the, the Dark Star I discovered uh, uh, indirectly. I I did I do like going out to the edge of space and seeing the curvature of the Earth. Uh, when you're looking out the window or looking at the horizon <laughs> to see to see the curvature it just it just kind of blows me away but uh for just getting around with the avionics and uh, and the the flyability of of a simulation this tbm 930 really is uh, is kind of slick there are probably some situations where i need to slow down so I'll get in the Cub, and if I have to go faster, I'll get in the, the F-15. And uh, in between that, F-15 and this, uh, you could get into one of the Cessnas, the Longitude. But the Longitude doesn't allow you to look outside as well when you're flying the instruments. To fly both, you, uh, you uh, of course, in, in this uh, simulator, when you, when you go to the exterior view from looking at it from from the back end uh, you end up with the uh, airspeed uh, and the on the altitude on the bottom left is airspeed the bottom right is altitude the heading is uh, the top left right now I can't think of what's in the uh, top right uh, but uh, they're very useful so you can you can keep track of what the airplane is doing uh, so you know what to do to control it uh, while you don't have the instrument panel to uh, look at. Anyway, this is uh, this is uh, where we're going right now. Is I'm into the instruments right now. We will get to flying from point A to point B just to look down at where we're flying, what we're flying, if we're following roads or rivers or or mountain ranges or whatever we're going after. I'm thinking in the future we're going to fly Route 66 from Chicago to uh, L.A. Actually, 66 ended in Santa Monica, uh, the, the, right on the coast. It went from, I guess, downtown, downtown Chicago to uh, to Santa Monica, and uh, how it how it went out. Some of the some of it uh, doesn't exist anymore. The road. Uh, uh, doesn't exist and then there's small parts that do exist that uh, are rarely used it's just uh, interesting in the development of the United States the the road system and the railroads and of course uh, the air routes came along but uh, things that are were physically on the ground the the rail and the the rail and the uh, and the roads, and then of course uh, some rivers. I get a kick out of running around the uh, Sacramento. Anyway, I'm I I can I can yammer on and on and and uh, go nowhere. So right now we're just going to fly from Salinas. We got we got two ways in. I could buy type in K S N S, or we'll what we'll do is we're going to Monterey. But I I won't do that. At first we can we can go this way, and and. You got uh, the big places like uh, Santa Barbara, KSBA, and then San Francisco is KSFO. If you get it on it here, KSFO, there was actually a radio station up there. And then this this little Monterey Bay is right here. We just go in well, more and more, and we get down, and Salinas has an airport right there. So we click on that, and then we click as uh, departure. And we want to depart on runway 26. We want to go, we're going to go west and we're going to make an instrument approach into Monterey. So we click on that, set as departure, runway 26. So we don't have to swing around. We can kind of take off and go straight. It'll send us slightly left. And now we go over here to Monterey, set as arrival. And it just shows a direct line, but then we we kick a little thing into that we go low altitude airway instrument flight rules ifr not i follow roads this time we're gonna go 
IFR instrument flight rules. And then we, we do little things. The departure is SN326. Uh, they have these depart, bar, departure routes that are already set up. And, uh, and this one, we can look in there. It's just uh, pretty much just direct. It, well, it, it goes over toward Fort Ord, and then it makes a left turn. And uh, but you can't you can't land coming back on run, runway ten and two eight. It would be called the back course. So the front course, ILS the instrument landing system, and I got my instrument here. So there are some things that I really know vividly. But uh, the the new equipment that are in these airplanes, we didn't have those back in the sixties and sixties and seventies when I was doing my flying. So here we click approach. And we're going to approach, and we're going to use the the RNAV, which is which is the GP, GPS. We could go with the ILS, and we should see ILS on here. See ILS? That's what we used to use way back. But there's there's more modern equipment, and they use the satellite and the GPS. And we click on, oh, we don't want 2.8. See, this is going for a straight. This, this is interesting. It goes straight. But there's, there, that's the back course approach. And the, the, the approach most people take on instruments is they come out over the water here. So we're going to change that. We go back in there. And RNAV 10 right. And 10 is uh, 100 degrees. So it looks like it goes out here and... and trying to go out there and turn back airplanes don't do that so you'll see once I get everything in you come straight across and then it makes a procedure turn it goes out here and does a loop around and comes back in on the final approach course they don't make sudden sudden turns on instruments uh, you don't want to lose control so this this is now a straight course over to uh, outside the outer marker. The outer marker right here at Pacific Grove, I can uh, find that physically. It's next to, next to the swimming pool at uh, a state facility, state conference facility out there called Asilomar. <laughs> so there's a chain link fence that says government property stay out. I think it's 10 feet high. And it has the equipment in there for, for the outer marker, which, which people don't use outer markers any anymore that with the GPS you know exactly where you are with the with a global positioning it's amazing so anyway I've talked too long god I, I could I, I do love to talk so anyway I know that you got to be at 1800 feet that's still what I learned back in the 60s when I got my instrument rating you came across the outer marker right at 1800 feet so that is now a a fix. Uh, there's another term for it, which I can't think of now, and that's that's my my old age uh, kicking in. I'll I'll think of what they call that because we'll get into that as we go along. Uh, anyway, approach R10, uh, uh, RNAV 10, and so the the only thing when I first saw this, <laughs> I said, how the heck? You can't make a make a right a left turn like that and shoot the approach into Monterey. Uh, but anyway, we'll see how that gets fixed. Um, and we click fly, and it has to boot up. the The program is booted up, but this particular path that we're taking has to take time to uh, boot up. Bring that out of the out of the uh, memory. And I'm probably online, so it's probably not in my machine. I'm just getting Salinas it. Salinas Tower, Daher 527, Bravo, Charlie, at runway 26, ready for departure IFR to Monterey. Okay, and uh, Daher so... Daher 527, Bravo, Charlie, altimeter, 29 or decimal 9 or 2, wind calm. Cleared for takeoff runway 26. Okay, so we... Cleared we, for takeoff runway we go, 26, go Daher 527, Bravo, Charlie. And... Uh, Anyway, I can turn the volume down a little bit. I've been having a little little trouble with my with my volume, and that's because I go from the speakers 
I don't need to tell you that either. But uh, anyway, this is this is how I set it up. I use the uh, uh, right arrow to move move this left and left and right to get it lined up. And of course, if you were flying it, you would be sitting right here looking out. And 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 this is this is really what you see. And this is what uh, one of the things I like about this airplane is that you can have your your instruments here and look out at the same time. But what I'm I'm doing, I have to. Well, I can run it from here. This is all right. So so here's my clearance. We have to we have to change a few more things. So they've they've cleared cleared us to uh, to Monterey to climb to a thousand thousand feet, and they'll they'll tell us to climb climb higher. So we'll just go with the go with the flow here. So we'll put in a thousand feet, and I know that clears clears everything. A thousand feet is high enough. Heck, I I got my instructors rating around here. I used to bring my students over to Salinas Valley here, and would fly around. Uh, the farm farm fields to do our rectangular patterns and uh, turns around pylon eights around pylon all that stuff I've been all over the Salinas Valley so anyway we click we go in with a thousand feet and we're gonna climb uh, climb at uh, at uh, at a thousand feet a minute we could climb faster but just going up that high uh, we climb at a thousand feet then it is plenty. So we see on here, we see the path on here. This will turn magenta when, when, uh, when it uh, instructs the airplane to fly, fly along that path. We don't have the autopilot on yet. That'll come on here at say AP. will come on right on your panel there to tell you that's on. And for some of you, you have your instrument rating. You've seen all this equipment. You know more about it than I do. And uh, and anyway, I'm st I'm still learning. I'm 86 years old, and I'm still still learning. And I'm having I'm having a great old time with it. Uh, I've had this thing three years almost now. It'll be in August, I'll be flight simulator. I had I had a flight simulator X back in 2005, and it was nothing like this. This is awesome. So okay, now now we want to uh, we're going to use nav we're not on approach yet and that wouldn't light up so if I click that nothing happens so it's not ready to go on approach but it is ready to navigate so it will will latch onto this uh, line they call that couple it will couple onto this line this screen gives a little information like uh, traffic and uh, it'll put on some stuff and Again, I'm still learning about this. Why this this is in over here? I can take that out, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. I I click something to put that back in. You you don't have to have that in the screen. And if I were flying this airplane, I wouldn't have have in for real. I wouldn't have this because you have it right here. Why why put it? Why 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 mess up this screen? That's that's got enough information on it. Okay, back to we got nav going, and uh, we then we have to take our brake off. Uh, uh, but we we before that we go down here, we get rid of this because it gets in the way a little bit, and uh, we really don't need it. And then then you go down here and look on this little screen down here. Uh, I call this sometimes the autopilot, but I, it's not. The, the MFD is, is something, something display. So we get, get over here, and we are going to go direct uh, on this plan. And uh, we, we hit uh, the direct button, and then it shows Salinas there. And then we go down, and we'll show our, our path. Oh, activate. Uh, direct uh, SNS so we hit activate and I don't know why that uh, went back there but let's go let's go oh we have to hit flight plan so we hit flight plan and again I'm still learning here so at Salinas we go to 3600 100 feet and going over to Z-bed which is right here 3600 feet so that instrument clearance we really right away we're going to go to 3600 
but let's let's just go the way they've got this inputted just a thousand feet I think the clearance should say 3600 but here's our direction of flight 323 degrees is what this path is and uh, that information there and as we go down so you can see these inter intersections is what they're they're called these intersections and uh, Minnick is at where the outer marker is right right there we're looking at the map on the right and then, uh, then uh, here's runway one, runway ten, right down there. And you can look at this this path, these fixes that we go. So here's Minick. There's Minick. That's the outer marker. That should be 1,800 feet. It says 1,700 feet. So, so it was 1,800 when I was flying. Now it's 1,700. And then the next thing is uh, runway ten. Uh, uh, 10 uh, and R is right and it goes down uh, it'll say 4.7 miles so the distance between Z bed and and runway 10 is 4.7 miles and those those things will count off over here you'll see the mileage and the direction on on here when this is when this is lit up it, it will say that also the thing that's interesting it won't it won't uh, couple onto the glide slope is what I call it a little diamond will come on here and the little diamond turns into magenta it's just a uh, uh, a there's just the outline of the diamond like there's an outline of what this this is here and then the outline when it when it couples it will it will go to magenta and it will might say GS in white and when it couples, it goes to something else in here, it goes green, means that it's active. These, anything green is active. And uh, the, uh, the uh, flight uh, uh, FMS, there's, there's a term, term for that. that. That has to do with this, this uh, area. And I'm, I'm, I never had one of those when I was flying. But if you have to go and uh, you go off the autopilot, this is handy to know what, what this is doing. I just, had a, I just had a round circle with a line across, which was the artificial horizon, was, was all I saw. And you had kind of this on top of the artificial horizon to show your, your bank. So 10, 20, 30 degrees of bank is what and you really don't need to go more than 30 30 degrees of bank uh, there is a thing here that uh, goes goes half uh, half so aircraft that go faster you uh, uh, it won't go as steep in the uh, bank okay enough of that here we go we're going we're gonna watch this so we'll go back here and we'll go out we'll get rid of this and we'll move it over once so we've got all these all these screens to 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 look at these are easy to to get get to and since we're flying instruments we don't need to see outside because we would be in the weather if we have to go outside we'll go go right there to go go and look look outside but we're going to concentrate on the panels here okay so we're we're going to take off. We'll just look outside for our takeoff, and then we'll click on the autopilot. Here we go, full power. We get the brakes off. There, the brakes are off. And then we'll look back here. For some reason, I get a kick out of this look. And I always pull up the gear a little early. As long as you could land straight ahead, leave the wheels down. And then you take the flaps up, and then we'll hit the autopilot, and let go. And now we are on instrument on the autopilot. So we'll, we'll do that. And we're heading for Monterey. Knowledge handoff. Going to one tree, tree decimal, zero dollars, seven, and we're going Bravo, to a thousand feet. And we're we're 
coming up 900 or 920, 40, 60. So we'll level off at 1,000 feet. So these guys, when I contact departure control, they'll North tell Delta us. Departure Dodder 527 Bravo Charlie, 1,000 feet. Dollar 527 Bravo Charlie North Cal Departure Altimeter 2 Niner Decimal 9 or 2 Continue as planned Little power, little too much on the power Bravo Charlie there climb and maintain 6,000 feet 6,000 feet, that's really more than we need But this thing will do it So we'll just take this, we'll just do what they say We'll go up to 6,000 uh, And I have to tell them, okay Climb and maintain 6,000 feet Dollar 7 Bravo Charlie Six thousand, and then we have to tell it how to how fast to climb. So now we'll go, we'll go at uh, fifteen. Uh, we'll go eighteen hundred feet a minute, and this this machine can do that easily. So here's our eighteen hundred feet a minute climb rate. Here's here's our six thousand feet. Charlie, you are eight miles northeast. Maintain present heading and altitude. Expect RNAV runway 10 right approach by a Sierra November Sierra transition. Clear to Sierra November Sierra. So this is this is the Sierra November Sierra November, and and that's SNS. So we had that when we were we were uh, putting in Salinas and Monterey airports and clicking off ILS. Uh, so that's that's the uh, that's the uh, little little uh, transition path. And uh, Dollar that seven Bravo Charlie climb and maintain three thousand six hundred feet. Okay, so now they're changing the six thousand three six. So we'll we'll agree with that real quickly here. So we just need to bring this back down to thirty six hundred. There it is. And so it will stop at 3,600 right here. We'll just leave everything else alone. We were still climbing and we hadn't reached 3,600. So we, uh, we go ahead and say Climb okay. 3,600 feet. Expect RNAV runway 10 right approach via Sierra November Sierra transition. Clear to Sierra November Sierra Donner 7 Bravo Charlie. So. So it was blinking altitude. Now it's on altitude. All this stuff, this all this stuff is running. That's in the green. We're on 3,600 feet, and uh, we're zipping along pretty good here. What's our airspeed? Uh, uh, 221 indicated, but our true airspeed is is actually higher. It's probably up to about two. 240 knots, not miles per hour. This is all knots. When I was flying, it was all miles per hour. Okay, so we're flying across here. Here's our airplane just getting out over the Number ocean. Seven, Bravo Charlie, you are five miles north of Monterey. Contact Monterey Tower on 118.4 when inbound. Okay, so we don't have to do it. We'll let her know we got that. There's Monterey right over there. Here's, here's a Silomar right here. There goes an airplane or a bird or something right there. This is Pacific Grove. So we're going to go out here and then we're going to do a procedure turn. Did you hear my last transmission? And we did. We'll go back here. Dollar's approach. So we will, we will contact them when we're inbound on the ILS. So let's go back in and watch watch what happens here, and and this still shows we're going from Salinas to Z bed, and if we look in here close, we'll see right here we've got 2.8, 2.7, and we're flying on a heading of 254. There's our heading, and heading or it's all 254 is what this line represents. And it's in magenta because we are actively on that. As soon as we pass Z bed, Z bed, it'll it'll switch switch to this, and this will go. This next go is it says hold, but it's just that teardrop that we do. They call that a teardrop, and so we this is the the teardrop right here, and coming off the teardrop will probably be heading zero nine eight inbound.
on the, on the teardrop. And so that, there, it just lit up. There, the teardrop just just came on. There we go. And uh, it says 2290 uh, feet. Let's see if if we we're gonna we're on approach. So we'll click approach and maybe attach that. There we go. See if it goes down to. We might have to help it a little bit. So we probably should have had approach turned on uh, before before we got on this this area. We may have to fly fly down to uh, 3,200 feet. Let's let's do this. It says uh, it says. Let me go back here. It says it wants uh, 2,290 feet, and see that isn't in, that's not colored yet. So let's let's do do this. We'll go back up. We'll put the altitude get to, to come on here. 35 down to 2,290, and we don't have to talk to anybody until we. So that's like 23. We don't have the the tens, and uh, we'll take this down. And we'll go down at 500 feet a minute. Let's see where we are here. That's 800. That's good enough. 700 feet a minute get us down. And we are losing our altitude. And we'll see if that couples up. Uh, and uh, and and uh, where where did I see our altitude? So let's let's go back here. Oh, so this, I, I want to see this turn magenta. And then Minic is inbound on the ILS. That's the outer marker, what used to be the outer marker. And uh, we're, we're going down. We could go down a little, a little bit faster, but we'll be all right. And we need to start slowing down. So I'm going to bring the power, power back to about 50% or less. We don't need, need much. We're going downhill. We can be going. We want to get the speed back to 150. If we were going into a, a main terminal like San Francisco, they want to keep our speed. They want to keep everybody about 150 knots. So we need to get down, and we'll, we'll we can we can go over here. Look, see we're at 180. We're coming down to 150. And when we get down to 23 or 2290, we'll see if it couples up. I still don't see my glide slope in here yet, but uh, but that's all right because the the glide slope is actually above us. And we'll keep we'll keep we'll move this over here because we really only need to see these these two. And uh, there's 2300, 2290 is right there. So here, here's, here's where the line goes from dashes to hard. That may be where, where the uh, the glide slope starts starts coming down, and that's a a diamond shape. And when it, uh, and when it, uh, this this probably talks about the. GP when this this pops up in there it means we've coupled the glide slope so let's see how it does 23 2300 and let's see our speed it's on 150 so we're doing good we're right at 150 Zero nine eight. That's the that's the old localizer. It's what they call it. And uh, that's we're right on line here. Look look outside. And you'll see see that we're heading. Monterey Airport is right out there. So let's see let's see if this this couples, and we'll see if we see the glide slope uh, would go up. The glide slope goes past here at 1,700 feet, and is a, a line that uh, goes goes straight up at an angle from the runway. It goes from here 240 feet at uh, the end of the airport up to 1,700, and continues going up at the same same 
angle just like this straight line and, and anyway it's a straight line going going up in the air uh, there something something happened 1700 popped in there so it's going to take us to, to the glide slope see it's not it's not going down on the glide slope yet and uh, Minnick is is where we're we're heading so here here see there there's there's the diamond coming down so when that hits right in the middle we we are on the glide slope and so that should light up into a magenta color and then it'll start following the glide slope down there it went to magenta and it'll start down to 1700 feet and that that diamond should stay right there in the middle see our altitude going down so it it uh, it, it now is coupled coupled to the to the glide slope and we are at we can slow down we're coming downhill so we got a little extra speed we'll slow it down to 150 we can take a look outside to show you how it looks from from here and i'll show you a silomar is right down here it's all these all these uh, uh it's like a motel and then there's a conference center in there it was designed by Julia Morgan. Julia Morgan designed the Hearst Castle. She was an architect from Oakland, California. And we are heading down the uh, glide slope. And we'll head down right to the end of the runway. Now we're going back inside because we're, we're simulating that we're on instruments. And everything is locked on here. The airspeed is the only thing I have to pay attention to. And we will we'll now we'll let it we'll let it since we don't have any traffic here I'll show you show you there's no nobody behind us if we were at a big airport we wouldn't we wouldn't want to slow down because the airliners don't go less than about 150 we can slow this down to our gear gear speed and our flap speed and our landing speed is 80 miles an hour so we can really close slow this down to about a hundred I said miles an hour, knots, 80 knots, it's all in knots now. So we're slowing down, we can put the gear down, we can put a notch of flap down, that'll help slow us down. And so now we want to just uh, jockey the throttle to keep it going at about no less than 90. Need a little speed to flare out, we'll look at back inside, and uh, we're right on, right on track to land we saw that from looking inside everything is green here GP is has to do with the glide slope we're locked on to that and uh, we're in good shape so we'll just just follow it follow it in here we have to look outside because we we would break out right at about uh, uh, 200 feet above so we're now now if we didn't see the ground we would execute a missed approach so we we'll want to just glance. We got the gear down. We put the flaps down all the way, and we we will we will just we will just look at look here, and and I like to look right here and watch it land. There, it hit a little bit hard. Anyway, we put the flaps up. We we. There we go, the reversers, reverser, and we go back to uh, looking from behind, and we put our brakes on. Kick it out of reverse. It's a little tricky with my rinky-dink uh, throttle quadrant. So we got it out of reverse, we got the we got the uh, we got the uh, flaps up. Just slow it down here a little bit, and we got it in uh, in forward, and that's it. We'll look back and see what the panel looks like. We we'll just hit stop right here. There's no traffic to worry about. Even if we did, they they can't see us. 
So here, here we are. We're on runway 10. We've landed, and uh, that's that's all done. This is has to do with a missed approach, and uh, and I I don't know. This would be our heading 298. We'd climb to a thousand feet. So so push, push to pan. So I don't uh, I I don't know that I ever. I maybe did one or two missed approaches in actuality. But there, there's your flight and uh, too much talking. But anyway, we had fun. Thanks for riding along. Take care.